This video illustrates the first of three steps in how to create a VoiceThread. I am at VoiceThread.com and I've signed into my account and I know that because my email address appears in the upper right corner. From here I'm going to click on the Create tab. You'll see that there are three simple steps in creating a VoiceThread. One, upload, two, comment, and three, share. I will click on Upload and it's going to allow me to select from many options. I'm going to click on My Computer to simply pull in a PDF from my computer. I will click Open and now the file will load into VoiceThread. This is a multi-paged PDF file and you'll see that each page will load as its own individual thumbnail on the create page in just a moment. And there they are. At this point I could choose to add more media to the same voice thread simply by clicking my computer again and uploading for example a video or another document or an image file. I could also click on media sources and make the, the choice to pull in slides from voice threads that I've already created, pictures from Flickr, pictures from my Facebook account, or I could select from over 700,000 images in the New York Public Library collection. For now, I think I'm good. Just so you know, you could also pull in a particular piece of media from a URL if you have the specific URL that points to the media. In other words, if it was an image, the URL would need to end in .jpg or the file type. You could also click on My Webcam and upload a very brief video from your webcam that would fill the center of a slide. That can be a nice way to introduce a VoiceThread to your students. And here are a few more things to consider before you move away from the upload step. You can click above um, the upload, number one upload, and add a title and a description for your voice thread. So I'm going to just add a title. And some tags, which help me find it in my My Voice area. That's the acronym I use for my class and click Save. So now it has a title and a description. Another thing I could do, or something to be aware of at least, is to know that you can actually add titles to each slide. So um, if I want to title a slide, you first of all click on the slide and you'll see that it will appear in the preview window here. So let me click on that first one. And I'm just going to add a title here that says Contact Info and communication policy because that's those are the things I'm really going to stress on that first slide and click Save. I should have also noted that you can make that a link to a website. Um, for example, if I have a link on a slide in the in on one of the PDF pages and I want to make that a hot link in the voice thread I could actually create that as a hot link by using the title feature here. I'm just going to leave it blank so that will just appear as a static title when the slide opens. Okay. One final thing I will note about this um, this step is that it's very easy to reorder your slides if they for some reason get loaded in an order that you don't like or for example you add media at the end that you want to appear at the beginning all you have to do is click on a slide and drag and drop it into its preferred location. You'll also notice that when a slide is selected you will have the option to replace it using that preview window feature over to the left. So if I wanted to replace that one single slide, let's say for example I found a typo on that page, I could just click on replace and it's going to give me a pop-up message that says this will replace the image, document, or video on the slide, but the, not the comments. Are you sure you want to do this? And I could click yes or no.